Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Manhunt, which we've never played before. It's basically an action stealth game. The whole point is you're getting hunted and you have to avoid detection and then kill people. Uh, before I go forward, it is a very violent game, so it's one of them things, please just remember this is just a game and that's all it is. Sprites, pixels, etc. At the start though, you've got play, you've got select scene to replay things to get better ratings because the better ratings you get, the better bonus features you get. Things like pictures, uh, videos and challenges. Things like uh, survival, just stuff like that. To be fair, I don't actually think there are videos, so scratch that. Anyway, settings, usual stuff where you can just basically, well, set the game's graphics, set the controls, stuff like that. So anyway, this is uh, the game. Basic game plays, as I say, stealth and all that. So you've got to hide in the shadows, avoid people, get weapons, sneak up behind them, kill them. You can fight all out combat, but on the first one, it's a lot harder to do that and you end up getting your ass whooped. The second one, they seem to change it a bit because uh, when I review the second one, I mention this more, obviously, and it's pointless probably mentioning it now, but the second one's kind of less stealth, more action because it's a lot easier to do the fighting and a lot harder to do the stealth. So weird with that one. But... As I say, the whole point is you have to stealth around, avoid being seen, especially when they've got baseball bats, and then find a weapon and kill people with it. I personally don't get like all the major complaints because this one was considered a lot worse than The Suffering, which I've already reviewed, and I personally think The Suffering's more violent. They both are very violent, don't get me wrong. It's one of them things that you really want to avoid it if you don't like violent games. But I personally don't think this is as bad as The Suffering. That's just my opinion, though. But uh, to be fair, this guy, I'm managing not too bad to fight him. He's nearly in red, but I'm nearly dead as well. But seeing as I didn't have any weapon, I couldn't exactly just show you stealthing up and getting me ass whooped. So I thought I might as well just run forward and get me ass whooped. So anyway, time to go on to a better thing. So right then, this is one of the things you can do. He's over there taking a piss. You sneak up behind and... Ta-da! Dead. There's uh, four weapon classes in the game. There's basically blue, green, yellow, and red. And they all do different things. Blue, for example, can be like a crowbar, which can be very useful to break locks and that. Yellow can be uh, pretty much just used to throw things to, uh, like, kind of... Well, it's the old stealth technique, really. It's just like, am I over here, or am I over where that noise was? And then as the back's turned, go around, kill them. Reds, just things like more violent weapons, like baseball bats. However... I've got a blue weapon here, which is just basically a small baby baseball bat, so I don't really see the difference other than size. But uh, usual stealth stuff, really, as I say, you can make noise so you can hide in the shadows and do that. One of the things that I find totally unbelievable about the game, though, is that in these shadows you're supposed to be completely undetected. Now, I know obviously because of the game you're supposed to be able to see yourself anyway, so they're going to make things brighter. But the shadows are so unshadowy on this. I find it impossibly hard to believe that when people are looking right at you, they truly can't see you. And that there, surely you'd been able to see us from behind, like, well, nothing. <laughs> but it's just one of them things. I suppose it was done to make the game slightly easier, so I suppose if you wanted harder, started on a harder difficulty, really. But it's usual stealth stuff, as I say, noises will avert detection. So if you're walking on a gravelly road and there's no cover, then you want to get your ass out of there as fast as possible. However, running actually creates a large amount of noise. And as you might have been able to notice by the radar, whenever a red flash happens, it says how much noise you're making, so it shows whether or not the enemies are being detected. Because it's like yellow, orange, and red. Yellow is normal, while yellow is green. Uh, orange is suspicious, and red is full on alert. You've uh, got your energy meter in the bottom right corner. You've also got the yellow bar, which is your stamina and that. You've then got the picture of you, which basically shows whether or not you're like visible or, well, I suppose invisible. And it shows you what your weapon you've got above that. Just usual things like that. There's 20 missions overall, and you'll face a large amount of gang members and that over the time. But uh, it's pretty much the same gameplay from start to finish. Every now and then you kind of get into a boss fight. But other than that, it's just sneaking around, kicking the crap out of things. And then you can run across tapes like that. Hit the escape button, or whatever you've got Paul set to, I suppose. I think it's escape pretty much standard in any PC game. And then save because it's not a usual checkpoint where it auto saves, you've got to save. Otherwise, you'll switch it off thinking it's saved, go back on and find out it hasn't. Um, not really much left to say though. Graphically, I think the game's pretty good. Uh, musically, it's just like, because it's a stealth game, you only really get music when things are happening, and it's pretty ominous, is pretty much all I can say about it. 
Uh, as for whether or not I like the game, I personally think it's very fun. I don't actually like stealth games. This is one of the few stealth games, though, that I find is actually quite fun because it makes stealth exciting. And a lot of stealth games don't have that because it pretty much, uh, even though, though I love Far Cry, the stealth on Far Cry is a bit mundane because you are constantly hiding in bushes where you can't even see your enemies. This, it's full on stealth. You, you can always see what's going on, so your heart's pumping, you're thinking, am I going to get spot? Oh crap, oh crap. So it does that really well. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well, that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment. Ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.